Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Alpha ABS video tutorials. In this episode, we're going to be going over how to set up enemies. But before we do jump into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I do release a new video, as well as hit the bell notification icon to be notified when I do release such videos. Um, so let's get right into it. So in order to set up an enemy, the first thing you would have to do is go over to your database and set up the enemy as you would any other enemies using the default battle system. So set the name, the stats, um, the rewards, as well as what items drop when the enemy is defeated by the character. The main thing you do want to add to your enemies um, is the attack speed because again that's going to determine the reload perimeter um, when they actually do a normal attack because your normal attack is based off of attack speed. Um, and then what you also want to do is add the skills that you want to use for that, I mean that you want that enemy to have. Um, also keep in mind that enemies can only use ABS type 0 and 1. So they can use instinct and vector. They cannot use type 2 and type 3 which is circle and zone. They cannot use those. So after you're done setting up your enemy in the database, the next thing you want to do is come over to your map. Um, in order to enable your ABS to work on this particular map, you have to make sure you do include this no tag, um, ABS, which will allow that map to be used um, as an ABS map. Then the next thing you want to do is make an event, call it whatever you want, but for consistency sake, let's name it the same thing as the enemy in the database. Then the second most important thing you do have to do is add in this note tag ABS colon and then the enemy ID that you want to add in this case it's one. And then we're going to pick the graphics for that enemy. We're going to pick random and then we're going to make it slower and highest. Apply. Now if we do jump into the game, this should already be working. And it's that simple. And as you can see, you could use fireball and it's gonna attack. So that's pretty much how you set up an enemy. Now to get into the, well not really advanced set stuff, um, so pretty much enemies do have perimeters that you can, I mean you do have the option to add. By default, um, all those perimeters are assigned a value but you could change it to whatever you want. Um, I will provide the link to this page um, in the description down below so you guys could get all the note tags that you need in order to get the various perimeters to work. Um, one of the major ones that I use is the revive time which allows the enemy to revive after um, a few seconds have passed which is determined by this X. Uh, so let's go ahead and add that. So this slime will come back every 20 seconds after you kill it. Another one that I do like to change myself is the return type because by default it's set to zero so that means if an enemy is chasing you and it wanders too far from its spawn point it will teleport back to that point which is unrealistic. I like to make them walk back to that position so let's go ahead and add that in. So another thing I do want to show you guys is you could uh, affect the enemy ABS perimeter from the actual event itself. You just have to do a comment put in the exact perimeter you want to add and hit OK and this will work the same way it would work um, from the database. The only difference is that the database will affect all the events using that enemy ID and this will only affect this one event not the whole um, enemy itself. Um, so a couple more things. In order to get a dead animation for the enemy, so after you've defeated them, if you want to be able to loot them or whatever else you want to do, you do have to make a new event page. Um, by default, the switch, is, um, when the enemy dies, is going to activate cell switch B. Um, if you want to change that, you could go over to your, your ABS plugin, grow down to enemy dead switch, I realize I changed it. 
but by default it is B. So here we could pick a dead pose, all right? And then if you wanna be able to loot your enemies, there's a plugin command that you have to add in, which is, here it is, ABS loot. Copy that. Again, the link to this page is also in the description down below. So the ABS loot would allow the enemy to actually be looted. Um, if you don't do that, um, there's no way for you to get these items that the enemy will drop. So I'm actually going to lo lower this respawn time to 5 seconds. I'm going to jump right back into the game. All right, there you have it. That's pretty much how you set up your enemies. The last thing I do wanna uh, explain to you guys is how to set up a spawn map to have all your enemies in one map and then just spawn them in as needed. Uh, so the first thing you would have to do is actually make that enemy on your spawn map. Let's use um, map ID two to use. Uh, as our spawn map, let's just keep this guy over here. The first thing you want to change is um, go into your ABS plugin, scroll all the way to the bottom, enemy spawn map ID, and set that to two. All right, and then all you will pretty much have to do is come back over here. So pretty much it's um, spawn AB, I mean ABS spawn, and then the enemy event ID that you want to spawn, and then the region where you want to spawn it. Um, you could also spawn based on the variable. Uh, so for example, you could do enemy spawn V, enemy ID, variable ID for X, and variable ID for Y. You could also just put X and Y of a specific location that you want it to actually spawn to. Uh, so in this case, let's go over here, make a new event, let's run it as a parallel event. Let's go ahead and insert the plugin command. So make sure we change this to 1, and then let's also change this to 1 for um, region ID 1. So enemy, I mean, event ID 1, right? And then we want that event ID one to spawn at actually let's make it spawn at two. So let's make it spawn here. Event. And let's make this wait every nine 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 actually every what's a good amount? Every two fifty frames then spawn. Again, that should spawn an infinite amount of slimes. And then let's just go ahead and change this to two. And then if we run the game. Let's head over here. So it's pretty much gonna keep on spawning in those slimes infinitely. And that's pretty much how you use the spawn map ID. Uh, so not only are they respawning, but they're also spawning. So technically, very soon there's gonna be an infinite amount of slimes on the screen. I mean, not slimes, bats. All right, and that's pretty much it. Um, if I missed anything, definitely let me know um, in the description. I mean, ooh. let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button um, show me that you liked it. Or dislike if you did dislike it. And also, please make sure to subscribe because it does help me out a lot. 
um, check out my music the link is down below too as well as all the links uh, for everything that you will need to set up your ABS is also down below um, that's pretty much it have a good day guys peace